Welcome to This Is My Architecture. Today I'm speaking with Shinya from Airbnb. Welcome, Shinya. Thank you. Now, normally I'd ask you what Airbnb does, but I don't need to because we all know. <laughs> so let's talk about scale. You guys operate at massive scale, don't you? Yeah. Huge transaction rates, big databases. Yeah. How do you test those? Cool. So this is a simplified architecture diagram for Airbnb. So on a very high level, we have some load balancer, traffic comes in, we're forwarding those traffic into uh, some web machines, uh, then those web machines talking to RDS instances. Mm -hmm. Over the past few years, we have been seeing tremendous business growth, and we're keeping adding web machines into it. Up until some time, we figure out there are some database scalability issue. That's the time when we design DB Replay, trying to uh, test the databases and do co optimization correspondingly. So when you talk about DB Replay, you're not talking about just a basic you know, performance test, run the same query, et cetera. You've created a system that really replays actual data. Is that right? Right, that's right. Talk us through that process. So there are two parts of DB Replay. One part is on the RDS side. Every day, we take uh, RDS backup, and then we restore uh, RDS instances in the testing cluster. Mm -hmm. So this, this database contains all the data from yesterday. Then on the web server side, we actually log all the production query in a certain format that can be understood by DB Replay. We log all the queries into Kafka. Then on the testing cluster, DB Replay has been reading those data from Kafka and then replaying those data back into the restore RDS instances. Fantastic. So you can drive your workload in a contextual way, but also you can dial it up beyond what the actual original performance profile was? That is correct. Our typical setting on RDS was one master with up to five different slaves. And DB Replay able to replay multiple slaves traffic on a single RDS instances. We can set up a test, look like starting with one X of traffic, then gradually increase the traffic to three X over the next hour. Wow, so you, you can tell where your breakpoints are gonna be, et cetera. Exactly. I think you mentioned you found an interesting behavior with one of your tests. Yeah, initially when we're testing, uh, we're keeping adding traffic on the restore RD instance, we expect to see the CPU usage grow linearly with the QPS increases. Uh, we find out on our databases, when CPU hits 30%, if we're adding a slightly more traffic, then a CPU spike. Uh, when we're working with RDS team, RDS team figure out there is a setting we didn't done correctly, which caused excessive context switches on the database side. And fixing that, we see a significant improvement, maybe like up to 3x of databases improvement on our RDS database side. Fantastic. So that's a great example of using real data to test because you're finding real world conditions, you know, actual database tuning, etc. How do you manage security? Because obviously this is secure data you're testing with. Exactly. Uh, when the web server logging the production query back into Kafka, we encrypt it. Then the only decryption key is available from the DB replay side. So the entire binary data is opaque to the other applications. Nobody's able to access that. So totally secure, but you've got a full event stream that you can run at whatever throughput you want. Exactly. Fantastic. Shinya, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you for watching This Is My Architecture.